welcome to my channel. Uh, today I thought I'd give you a quick review on a favorite of mine, uh, a favorite house of mine, but this particular perfume is new to me. This is uh, Toka's Bianca. So this is one of the Toka girls. Uh, and I've been using this one for the month of May. And I was pretty surprised by how much I liked it. Uh, excuse my nails, like I was starting to paint them. And um, I got a little distracted, but yeah. So never just, you know, pretend that they're not even there. But this is Toka Bianca. This is her beautiful, you know, I don't know if you can see, but it's like the juice is kind of tinted, like a very pale blue, like a baby blue color. And this bottle, I think that's what makes me so obsessed with the Toka line is this bottle has weight, like you could, you could use this as a paperweight or a weapon. No in between, like this is a heavy bottle and I absolutely love that. Even the the cap has weight. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous cap. And I really appreciate like little details like that in, you know, in perfumes, um, in the bottles, because if you're going to be spending that much money on some scented water, the presentation better be on point top tier and I love that with all the toka perfumes you know it, and it's just a classy classy bottle and it looks so beautiful you know having this sit on your on your dresser in your perfume tray you know it's just absolutely lovely and this scent is lovely um what was funny about this one is that this smells like identical to <laughs> Elizabeth Arden's green tea and I was so surprised by that because I was looking at the notes and the accords and I was thinking, yeah, okay, this sounds pretty good. And then I sprayed it and I realized, oh my God, this is literally like Elizabeth Arden's green tea, just in prettier packaging. So I should say it's not like exactly identical. Um, this has a tad bit of uh, sweetness to this one than green tea. So let me start off with the main accords. It's, you know, it's a very citrusy rose and green perfume. It has other accords of uh, that it's aromatic, it's fresh. There's a fresh spiciness to it. It's sweet and floral. So like I said, it's very, very similar to green tea, but without, um, with, I should say, less of that fresh spiciness and more of that sweetness and citrus and perhaps a little bit more rose but i think it's very very beautiful um, i really liked wearing this one so this is a perfect spring and summertime scent i mean like you could douse yourself in it it is a very light light and clean scent um so you, you'd probably get like moderate longevity with it i got a good four maybe four and a half hours out of it and that's probably with overspraying, so you could be pretty generous with Bianca. Um, but it, again, it is beautiful. The scent was released back in 2010, so this was probably, I should say, maybe 10 or 15 years um, after Green Tea was initially released. Uh, the top notes for this perfume is Amalfi Lemon, which is, which is a specific type of lemon um, from Italy. It's the uh, same thing with an Italian bergamot, mandarin orange, um, lavender. Middle notes are tea, tincture of rose, jasmine. Base notes are sugar and musk. So like I said, that base note is what gives this perfume that sweetness quality. And I guess the tea, because I'm not sure what type of tea that they used for it, but maybe because it's not a green tea, which tends to have bitterness to it. Um, for all I know, it could have been black tea or oolong tea or whichever, but it is a beautiful tea scent. You know, it's not, it's not anything new. It's, you know, very similar to Te Verde by L'Occitane, Elizabeth Arden's green tea, um, Wulong Cha by, you know, Nishane, although not as, you know, expensive and, certainly probably not as niche and high quality, but it's very good for what it is. 
Now, I found this one at a Marshalls, or was it a TJ Maxx? I think I was at a TJ Maxx one day, and I picked up this one and Simone. And for the 100 mil bottles, the 100 mil, you know, heavy ass weaponized bottles like these, both of them, I think they were each $30. And sometimes, in some places, it's, you know, $130 or $90. $90. So I couldn't pass up that bargain. I, I had to take them both with me. And I really, really liked Bianca. I'll be trying Simone, hopefully, maybe next month. And I'll let you know my thoughts on that one. But like I said, I love, I love a lot of the Toka's line of perfumes. And this one is included you know it's a very simple and classy scent it's a very clean scent um and if you want a pretty if you want a sweeter dupe to elizabeth arden's green tea and you happen to find this one on discount i say pick it up um i would i definitely probably wouldn't pay anything more than 30 or 40 dollars for a full-size bottle um i was just reading a little um a little blurb about it here a little description about it and they say that Bianca is inspired by tea time in Italy. And that's exactly what you get when you're smelling it. I think that describes the scent perfectly. Because when you spray it, when I sprayed it, it literally reminded me of a sweet lemon tea in like a rose and lavender garden. And you might have like lemon trees surrounded by you. You know, it is a beautiful, beautiful spring and summertime scent. So. You know, I personally would love to smell like that, and I enjoyed smelling like that when wearing Toka Bianca. Um, so like, this was another easy reach, dumb reach, easy to wear. I wore it to work. I, I liked wearing it to bed a lot. Um, you know, it's just, it's just an easy to wear scent. So I would totally recommend this. This was a pretty safe blind buy. If you liked, like I said, if you like Elizabeth Arden's green tea, you'd 100% like this one. This is a really good one. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'd like to know what are some other Toka perfumes that have caught your eye? You know, I had a couple in the past. Maybe I'll do a quick review on all of the Toka perfumes that I've tried. Uh, but, you know, talk to me in the comments. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I definitely appreciate it. If you'd like to see more of my videos, you know, subscribe. I'd also appreciate that. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.